My beloved child, it is with a message of love and divine knowledge that I address you now with an important warning. Someone with far from good intentions is in your life, they may be someone you already know or someone who will soon attempt to enter, someone is trying to get into your life, and more especially, your house, which is a place of worship that I have given to you. This message is urgent and urgent, dear cherished. This message is intended to give you wisdom, clarity, and my protection rather than to frighten you. As you open your heart and let the Holy Spirit lead you, you will recognize this individual by name. God is raising an alarm for your protection and welfare, and you must immediately heed this divine warning. My spirit resides. It is not a little affair to let someone inside this hallowed place, particularly if their motives are malicious or covert, the presence of this person may disturb your home, your tranquility, and even your spiritual this word is not spoken lightly, therefore trust it. Development The tranquility I have planned for you would be disturbed if this individual entered your house. There are invisible repercussions to their presence, whether they be spiritual, emotional, or even bodily, the time has come for you to put the gift of discernment to use. You will learn from this message why you should not let this person into your home, what their presence means, and how to keep yourself and your loved ones safe from the harm they pose. You will know the person's name because my spirit will make it apparent to you, not because I want to sow discord or distrust, this is an issue of spiritual survival as much as emotional well-being. Take note of the following indicators and tips I'll give you to help you spot them. Sometimes the folks with the most covert motives are the ones we let be closest to us. Is your spirit disturbed or unhappy when you think about this person? It is my way of directing you, and that discomfort is not a coincidence. God is telling you to stay away from this person because their influence is poisonous, regardless of whether they have previously violated your trust or have a secret motive. Have you observed any behavioral tendencies in this individual that seem to go against what I teach or disturb the balance in your life? Don't disregard these indicators. Have dependable family members, friends, or spiritual guides voiced worries about this individual? Who is able to comprehend it? Although this fact is frequently difficult to accept, it is necessary for your safety. I frequently communicate through people who care about you and support my will. Point one point one: The dishonest buddy, when loyalty is a front, and the warning signs and red flags you've been ignoring. The enemy tries to enter your life through first innocuous means. He weakens your bond with me and thwarts the plans I have for you by using people, circumstances, and diversions. Permitting this individual to enter your house may lead to, your house is a haven of spiritual protection. The Bible warns us that the heart is beyond healing and the most deceitful thing in the world, the incorrect person can ruin the mood by causing misunderstanding, conflict, or anxiety, you may be interacting with someone who appears to be devoted, affectionate, and considerate, but in reality, they are dishonest. Relationships and your own mental health may suffer as a result of this person's manipulation, dishonesty, or poisonous actions. Together, let's examine this as the Lord reveals the crucial actions you need to do to protect your house, your soul, and your future. This person's interruptions and distractions may cause you to lose sight of the chances and blessings I am bringing into your life. The Holy Spirit is urging you to be aware of these warning signs. 1.2 The Opportunist this person type is another one you need to be wary of because of what they stand to gain from you. I implore you to follow these instructions with faith and trust in order to safeguard your house and your heart. Ask for clarity and seek me in prayer. I'll tell you who this someone is and why their existence is contrary to what I want for you. However, 
Their heart has suddenly shifted, or maybe their actual nature is coming to light. Keep an eye out for indications of deceit, partial truths, or abrupt behavioral shifts. Preserving the sanctity of your home is not cruel or unloving. Be gracious when communicating your boundaries, but don't waver from your choice, this is the person that values what you can do for them rather than who you are. Even though you might feel bad or afraid about rejecting this individual, know that I have wonderful and ideal plans for you. This is not limited to material wealth, it may also relate to the spiritual or emotional wealth you possess. To an opportunist, your stability, happiness, and serenity are precious, regardless of how uncomfortable it may feel at the time, I am working everything out for your benefit. They have a transactional, not a relational, interest in you. According to 1 Timothy 6 verse 10, all evil stems from a love of money. I caution you to protect your house, but I also urge you to face this circumstance with forgiveness and love. Don't let appearances or kind words deceive you. To defend your home against their influence, ask God for the wisdom to recognize their actual intentions. This individual may be acting out of their own wounds, be disoriented, or be in pain. Offer up prayers for them, and if I ask you to, show them grace while keeping a safe distance, they may attempt to use your generosity, your finances, or even your faith. Forgiveness, however, does not entail letting toxic conduct into your life or your household. Self-defense is a response to my command to care for what I have given you, not a sign of lack of love. According to Matthew 7 verse 15, these individuals are like wolves in sheep's clothing, feigning concern for you while plotting to steal something from you. You are setting yourself up for more blessings by taking this warning seriously. According to the Bible, rage is terrible and overwhelming, Proverbs 27 verse 4, but who can resist jealousy? People who are jealous may behave badly, and even those closest to you may hold jealousy that can become harmful. You make room for my presence to fully reside in your home when you follow my instructions and preserve its holiness. You'll notice that your obedience will create a calm atmosphere in your home that won't be disturbed by outside events. Your confidence in my leadership will safeguard you from the enemy's schemes because I am your guardian. Perhaps they criticize you subtly, make passive, aggressive comments, or undermine your successes. You create space for the benefits I have planned for you by clearing off interruptions and diversions, blessings that will spill over into every aspect of your life. Even though they may be grinning at you, they are actually bitter about your advancement. Jealousy is like poison in the heart, it gradually erodes one's capacity for love and support. Know this, my little child, I am warning you to keep you safe, not to stress you. I act out of love for you, and I see what you cannot see. Have faith in my wisdom, for it surpasses your comprehension. Point two point one. Your house is a spiritual haven that is more than just a physical building, it is a place of calm and sanctuary. You can find rest, tranquility, and spiritual connection there. As you advance in obedience, never forget that I am constantly by your side. Not because you despise them, but because their soul is in turmoil and they can inadvertently hurt you and your family, you should not let them into your home. I will protect your destiny, your house, and your heart. Rest in peace for I have good things planned for you, and nothing can stop my will for your life. You have to be alert and know when someone's jealousy is becoming poisonous. The tranquility I have given you may be disturbed by their presence, which could lead to strife, disagreement, or emotional instability. My spirit is not possessed by everyone. Your thoughts, behavior, 
and the spiritual ambience of your home may all be impacted by the influences this individual may bring. People are frequently used by the enemy to thwart my intentions for your life. The entry of this person may cause you to become sidetracked and lose sight of the goal I have set for you. I have an urgent message for you today, one that is rooted in love, concern, and the heavenly guardianship I have bestowed upon your life. I want you to stop, think, and pay close attention to what I have to say. Someone is attempting to enter your house, yet their presence conflicts with the gifts, sanctity, and tranquility I have bestowed upon you. You may recognize this individual already. You have to work hard to keep it that way. 2.2 Spiritual Pollution and Harmful Energy I've been whispering to your heart, nudging you when you're quiet, and warning you when you're feeling uneasy. Don't let this person inside your house, my child, have you ever observed how spending time with some people may leave you feeling exhausted, nervous, or uneasy? Allowing someone with bad vibes or bad intents into your house can taint the air with their soul. This is a spiritual truth rather than merely an emotional response, your family's safety is also at risk. Not only is your spiritual health at jeopardy, but so is your family's well-being. Your loved ones should feel comfortable and secure in your house. In Ephesians 6 verse 12, the Bible cautions us that we are fighting a spiritual war against demonic powers rather than physical ones. Your house serves as more than just a place to stay. It is a place of refuge, a hallowed place where my presence resides. Be careful who you let in because not everyone has a peaceful spirit. 2.3 You are supposed to find my serenity, happiness, and direction there. In your home, you might begin to feel burdened, confused, or even conflicted, which wasn't there before. The harmony I have decreed for you may be broken if the incorrect person is invited into this area. For this reason, protecting your house is essential from becoming contaminated spiritually. Unknowingly or intentionally, this person brings influences into your life that shouldn't be there. You expose your family to their harmful influences when you let the wrong individual in. According to 1 Peter 5 verses 2 to 3, the Bible exhorts us to be the guardians of our homes, keeping the people we care about safe. Their actions may appear innocuous, and their motives may be concealed, but I see what you cannot. I am able to see their intentions, their heart, and the spiritual significance of their presence that you should take precautions to protect your family from any spiritual assaults in addition to defending yourself. You will learn this person's name through the insight I have given you, not out of fear or suspicion. You don't have to live in terror because of this. Instead, using discernment and wisdom, if you believe that someone in your life is harboring a bad spirit, have faith in me to lead you. Seek out the indicators I offer. Do you get an unexplainable uneasiness when you think about or engage with this person? My spirit is warning you about that. It is your duty as the gatekeeper to make sure that only people with good intentions are permitted entry to your house. Has this person's behavior shown any signs of dishonesty, manipulation, or harm in the past? I call you to walk both wisely and with love. The Bible describes the house as a place of refuge. Proverbs 3 verse 33 states that the Lord blesses the home of the righteous. Ask God to tell you the truth about someone whose presence could endanger your home and pray for his protection and direction. God desires for your home to be a safe, comfortable place free from the influence of the enemy. In addition to their physical presence, letting the wrong person into your home brings their spiritual baggage. If this person is feeling angry, jealous, or resentful, these spirits will try to penetrate your sacred space. 
Your home should be a haven of safety where you can sleep peacefully and worship freely. Chapter 3, Following Steps, Spiritual Protective Measures, 3.1 The first step in safeguarding your house is to pray for insight and clarity. Declare your place sacred and protected by God's presence as you anoint your windows, entryway, and every room with oil. Pray for God to keep your household safe and ask Him to drive out any evil spirits or influences that may have invaded your house. According to James 1 verses 5 to 7, God will grant wisdom to those who seek it, and this includes wisdom in your interpersonal interactions. Come to me with an open heart. Ask me for clarity about this person and the wisdom to act according to my will. My child, you unlock the door to more benefits and safety when you pay attention to my warnings. Create a peaceful, joyful, and secure environment in your house by inviting the Holy Spirit to reside there. Your family's and your home's spiritual defenses will be strengthened by this act of faith. This is what I swear to you. Following my instructions will result in peace that is unshakable by outside events, the same is true for your house. In conclusion, this is a call to walk in knowledge and discernment rather than one of fear. Defend your home and walk in wisdom, fear. I am your stronghold, your haven, and your shield. I shield you from both visible and invisible threats when you put your trust in my direction. You make it possible for my blessings to readily enter your life by maintaining a pure and tranquil household, pray, establish boundaries, and anoint your home as a haven of peace and refuge. You cannot see what I see, therefore have faith in my wisdom. God has equipped you with the means to keep your family and your house safe from spiritual and physical threat. You are protecting your house and the blessings I have in store for you by taking this warning seriously. Remain steadfast, behave with faith, and know that I am your provider and defender. Amen. Continue to be watchful, to pray, and to be shielded by the Almighty.